um thanks for coming back if you're new and if you are subscribed and you follow me i'm very very grateful for your returning today is going to be a full phase of first impressions the makeup might not be new it might be old it's something i've just come across um some of the things i am using or oh, i've tried before but i will tell you what i've tried before and what i haven't tried before so what all on equal ground so i was in aldi the other day right and i seen this and i was like no way and of course their makeup brand is la, la cura but does anybody know what this looks like anybody anybody got a good idea what this looks like to me it looks like the smashbox primer so this is new and i'm gonna try it right off the bat it's very what do you call it like it's like I don't know, it's like gel like, it's not thick. Can you see what I mean? It's like it's thick. So I'm gonna put that, I'm gonna treat it as a pore protector thing. Like a pore blemish ass. So I'm gonna stick that in my pore bits. And this isn't new, I've been using this for a while. It's the Oli Anti Wrinkle Firm and Lift Firming Serum. I've just been using that as a primer. Um, because it really smoothens out and it does actually say what it does it plumps out the skin and I've also I haven't got no eyebrow new eyebrow products so I've done my eyebrows off camera so and I've just been using a brush because I've been learning obviously in the past when I've been putting my primer on and then I come to do opening like everything else it's like crap I can't get into it because my hands are slippy slidey very slippy slidey so are you all excited for christmas yet all excited i am i'm like a kid now this isn't a new product this is a maybelline super stay 24 hours <laughs> matte concealer and she was right the dodo i mean my wilkinson's is massive and it's still a very limited shade range now this is number two light ivory i'll do a quick little swatch oh i like the door fit it's nice it's like a heart shape so that is light ivory can you say that yeah so i'm gonna use this as my base for my eye makeup wow Right, straight off the bat, it's very thick. In fact, it's not very thick. It's it's a thick consistency, but it is easy to work with. So I'm literally going to put a layer. I'm not going to dab back in. I'm also going to... The door fit's really quite odd. It's literally like... Yeah, you've got like a big hole if you like poke through it. So I'm gonna like carve my brows since I've already done them, and then just I'm gonna blend it right out. And I think it'll quite be good um, to do a cut crease as well with this. Quite good. So make sure that is everywhere, covering them horrible black bags up. Why? See, that colour is not actually too bad. And then just get the access off with my sponge. Making sure it's still tacky and wet. Obviously, for the eyeshadow, cling on to it. So, for eyeshadows, I have, I sort of have, but I sort of haven't got new eyeshadows. I was going to use this as my, my, like my base. I got this Pro Fusion kit. Can you see? It's got like 
I've got like all your eyeshadows here and then your face stuff there, which I thought was quite canny. And it's from Profusion. I have got one already. And I'm sure it's like blush and bronze or something it's called. And that's got bronzes, highlights and blush. Oh, there it is. And blushes in there. There's another one. By the same brand, Profusion. And it's very disgusting. I'm very sorry. But there you go. So you've got like, you've got your highlights here. And then you've got your bronzers here. And then you've got a mixture of blushes there. So that's by Profusion as well. So. Oh, this does have, have a mirror as well. Do you know what it is? I'm going to use it. Why not? Why not? And it has got quite a mirror as well. So let's take this off here. And I'm not using their eyeshadow brushes. So I'm going to take a fluffy, but not very fluffy, like a, a more... Sorry about the stain brush, a more like dense, fluffy brush. And I'm going to use, is that a shimmer? Let's have a look and see how many shimmers we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers and a few, not matte, but like sheer colours. So I'm going to have to be careful. Wait, I'm going to use this colour right here. And put that into my crease and use it as a transition shade. Oh Christ, that is quite dark. Pigments there though. I'll give it that. And I am using a really but I tell you what, I don't know what it looks like in, on the camera, but in person it's darker than it looks in the pan. So I'm gonna do come all the way around, make sure I blend it upwards. Not obviously all the way up to my eyebrow bone, but make sure I am going all the way around. So I'm gonna just keep packing that on. There we go. So once I feel like I'm comfortable with that transition shade, it's very nice. So I blended all the edges in. I'm gonna take a more. Um, a more fluffier brush. Let's have a look. No, oh, it's an angle brush. A more fluffier brush. And go with this cream shade here. And then just go lightly over your transition shade. I'm just going to make this eye look pretty simple because obviously it is first impressions now i'm going to take a smaller brush to be a little bit more precise if i can find one where are you small brushes small brushes that looks more dense yeah that's more dense i'm going to take a more denser brush and go for this more chocolatey brown and focus that right into my crease like so if I was going to do a cut crease, oh there is a bit of fall out there, cut crease in the transition shade. So if I was going to cut my crease, there you can see it, look, you can see it, the fall out, and it just wipes away. So like I was saying, taking the chocolatey brown shades and also whilst putting it into my crease, packing it in the corner right in the corner here so we've got most of our colour on the outside and I think while we're doing the eye lock what we'll do is I'm going to swatch a couple of the, the shimmers ooh white up blue and that pink one purple is definitely one so that's what colour shimmers we've got we've got like a purple a yellow gold a blue that is lovely that blue and a really pale icy white and then we have there's another goldish one here and 
a really like bronzy colour and also black almost very black there as you can see look they'd be nice as highlighters those two so yeah it's going to be on my pants so anyway so then i'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush that i've just had and just make sure all the edges are all blended blended out so i've got no harsh lines there we go then what i'm going to do is i'm not actually going to cut the crease today i've got a new product to try out and that is also by no that is this is by collection and it's a glam crystals liquid eyeshadow in the shade aura number one aura so what i'm going to do with this quite a simple one and do what i do with my concealer because obviously it is a liquid that's very pigmented and again just look up and around and there's my crease there so again just use the wand because i'll probably all scream and just thinking what are you doing but just just trust us because that's already painted out the crease by your look and i almost got in my freaking eyelashes so we'll just get a bit more product so we can see it a bit better I'm just going to do a half cut crease, nice and neutral, nothing too crazy. There we go, look. And I didn't use no concealer, nothing like that. So I'm going to go back into the fluffier brush and blend it so I don't have a harsh line. Just get some of that darker colour and literally just pat it on while it's wet. Which I find best. Most people leave it dry, but I find it's better when it's still a bit damp. And there, we'll just literally pack it on. Voila. So, next, I haven't got anything else for eyes to try. Oh, yeah. And I do have a new liner. Because I did really used to like them. And this is a Rimmel Scandalized nude liner. It's actually in the shade 5 nude. With your camera so anyway yeah and that really gives your eye your waterline it makes you look really like awake sorry years and years ago i used to wear white but i look at pictures now and i think christ what was i thinking the only thing bad about these is that, like, once it's once that's gone, like the little nib, that's it, it's gone. You can't twist it up, you can't sharpen it. So, what do I think of that eyeshadow? It's alright, actually. It is alright. It's alright for an everyday look. Um, So, I'm just going to jump off camera and do the other eye and then I'll come right back to you, so I'll see you soon. Right, so now the eyes are both even. I've just obviously just done the same. I've got another new first impression to try out. And I have the Essence Volume Stylist 18 Hours. One's a curl and hold mascara with micro styling waxes. That's what it looks like. Or I have an Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara with lengthening fibres. I feel like doing ip dip do that's calling my name because of the colour in the curl so I haven't curled my eyelashes and my eyelashes are naturally straight down they don't curl they're not long they're crap so let's see what this can do I'm just going to apply it like any other mascara and I do like the wand it's very it's like a comb almost because you can really feel it like gripping your roots of your eyelashes and really pulling them off. So, yeah. And I did have lash extensions on a little while ago and I had a bad experience and it pulled most of my eyelashes out. So that is another reason why I you haven't seen it for a while because... 
but I'll explain that in another video. So, I'll zoom the other eye. It is very thickening as well, which I do like. And it's wet but dry. Yeah, I do like that. That is nice. This is my bad eye, by the way. This is the worst one. The most affected eye. So I've got like millions of different lengths. But we'll roll with it. And then because I've gripped them all, I'm just going to just blink to get the length. Yeah, I like that. It's nice. Give that a try. So of course, obviously, I'll have to try. To, I'll have to try the other one in another video. It's only fair. So next, what can we do next? Right, because I've done the eyes, now it's time to finish up the face. So I'm gonna go in with another light layer of the Super Stay Foundation, and I mean, it's literally gonna be like one pump. I'm not like, I'm just going to go over. So we've got extra, extra, extra coverage. And if any eyeshadow or anything like that's fell out, then it'll just diminish it immediately. <laughs> now, I was very sceptical about this foundation. I didn't actually used to like it because I didn't like the way it sat on my skin. But I thought it was, one, I was using it with a brush. And two... I was putting far too much on. Less is definitely more with this sponge. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Oh crap, I got on my pants. So yeah, once I think that's all blended in. I have, I am, I am, I have. I'm going to use the camouflage concealer, which I used on my eyeballs. And I sort of know the consistency. I just want to see how it covers my horrible black eyes. And I'm not going to conceal it. No, but I'm not going to do like the bridge me nose and everywhere else. Like I said, it's just this is literally just a simple makeup look just to try this stuff out. So far, they always do that, you don't I? Another thing, obviously, you can clean up. Wow! Now that looks lovely on camera, but in real life, you can still see the black eyeshadow. Like you can see here, see the cast. But I do have really deep set bags. And black eyes well, I'm gonna leave that there for a second because I do have something and I never ever ever cream contour but I'm going to today I picked up the this is new to me I picked up the Rimmel match perfection skin tone adapting concealer in the shade mocha and I'm going to use this to contour because I have never ever used cream contour well, I must have used it and I just so I'm just gonna go a little bit Um, I must have used it obviously to be put off. And I like the little nib as well because obviously you can get really precise. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I'll do a bit on the jawline as well. Let's see how. easy this is to blend out. Right, where have I put my beauty sponge? I always bloody lose this bloody beauty sponge. Where are you gone? Where are you hiding? Where have I put you? I'll just grab this one because this one's also wet as well. Right? 
or I'll just blend that in. Then I'm going to move on to the, actually I'll do the cheeks first. And of course with contour you want to blend up, you never want to drag it down. That's actually looking really nice. And I'm going to connect it up the forehead. And you're seeing for yourself like how easy this is blending. If I don't keep closing these out. And all I'm doing is like patting it in but pushing it up as well. I really like that. And of course if you know you've went too heavy handed you can obviously that's the thing with cream products that we easily like to skate it again if that's a word sorry I keep cutting these out I'm so sorry just make sure everyone's blending because I have went out before and I've looked a mess because I've still had lines and stuff everywhere oh that blended in oh hang on see see missed a bit missed a bit yeah as well what's going on so i'm buzzing with that i am actually like really look how different my face looks that is mad so because i thought i'd like i really love the maybelline fit me matte and poreless face powder so i thought i'd give the translucent powder a go if i can get the bloody table and so that's what it looks like and it's in the shade nighty translucent right now i've got to find me little that's my little brush right now i'm just gonna give me a little Brush a wheel in here and let's have a look. Wow. I knew it wouldn't disappoint. I knew it. I knew it wouldn't disappoint as I knew it. So I'm going to be quite precise in the areas that I really need it. <laughs> Under the eyes, T-zone nose mouth lines and really press it in then i'm going to take a big fluffy brush a little swirl in there and give it a quick quick rub make sure i've got everywhere yeah i know that wouldn't disappoint us so love 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 Right, so I also have this e.l.f. bronzer palette, but the only thing that I was sceptical about is because it is in the shade medium dark, I'm sure it is, deep bronzer, yeah it's a deep bronzer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a quite lighter shade and I'm going to carry on doing what I've been doing lately because I really enjoy doing it. Instead of swirling it around, I've literally been, oh, there's me, hi, tapping the brush in, going to my deepest part here, and just stamping it in. Stamp, 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 stamp. And for me, all I'm doing is I'm resetting the contour that I've already done. Because I'm using the contour shade because it's very matte. Um, it's very matte. It's got no shimmer in it or anything. Um, so, yeah, we'll just... We're literally just setting my contour. But I was really bad at, like, thickening my brush and, like... You know, have it everywhere. And I think pattern, you're pushing it into the skin as well looks more professional to me so that's one bronzer i tried like it it's not too orange not too cool i like that and i've also got this collection bronze and glow to try 
um, and again I am going to go quite it's very feels very chalky but we'll see because I've never tried I'll just go light handed oh yeah you can definitely see it you can definitely 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 see it and just just like warm up my face a bit yes 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 I love it what we got next 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 um oh man I know what we've got how could I forget that what is going on right where are you where have I put you? Oh yeah, here you are. Right, I'm going to now try the face part of the palette. I'm going to use the blush and the highlighter bit. Oh, and you get canny little brushes and that with it. But I'll not be using that. Right, so I'm going to go in with this one here. Just take my normal highlighting brush from Royal and Langnickel. And dip it in there like that. Let's see. Wow. Are you seeing that? Oh my god. Normally I've got to go in for a second. Like a second dose. But. Milk tosh. Chin a little bit on the forehead. And then to use the rest for the bridge of the nose. Wow, that is beautiful. That is stunning. So I'm going to try the... I can't speak the blushes. And because I've went for quite a bronzy neutral colour today, I am going to go in with both the light pink and the peachy pink for blusher and apples in my eyes apples in my eyes apples in my cheeks even and just rubbed in it's over with face products isn't it because you've always got to go light handed in case you just like ruin it it's always to be less less first and then we'll just blend that all together well I really like that really really recommend that that is really nice and then last but not least i don't have any new lip pencils oh you get a canny little black eyeliner in as well look oh last but not least i have to try is the nip and there's i found me i found me sponge well i did find it but it's disappeared there i've got it again right last but not least is the nip and fab in the shade I can't see it anywhere. Anyway, it's a nip and fab lipstick. It's a very, very nude, which I'm not mad at. There we go. So, what I'm going to do, finish this video off, is. Put a bit of fix and spray the L'Oreal Infallible and give it a good shake. And there we go. Um, <clears throat> right, so that is the final look. Um, first impressions was very hit and miss. I did like most of the products. I can't lie. I really, really, really recommend this Pro Fusion face palette. It literally is a face palette. It's got everything in eyeshadow, blusher bronzer highlight that it's even got lipsticks in it i don't think i showed you it's got little lipsticks at the bottom and by looking at this as well this looks like a brow wax so it literally is it, honestly yeah i definitely recommend that um so yes thanks for coming if you did like the video i'd really appreciate it if you give the video a like if you do like the content and you want to come back i'd really appreciate it if you're subscribed 
and if you have any comments about the video or whatever you'd like to say whatever you don't like to say whatever you didn't like about the video whatever you liked about the video i'd appreciate a comment as well and also come and follow us on instagram same jewelry mystery i'll see you all later bye